Now, as I was saying before, there's seven coils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven per set of coils. And then there's seven inside. We're not worried about all that. Okay, so seven. Seven polarities of north and seven polarities of south equal 14 polarities all the way around. North, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, and south again. Meaning 14 polarities all the way around or seven cycles per rotation. When, the, when this outer shell turns one whole turn, each one of these will have seven pulses, positive and then negative, positive and negative. So that helps you out for figuring frequency per rotation, seven cycles per rotation. Now let's see what else you have on a question here. How are the different speeds achieved in the fan? Down here, you got your switches. They're all set up to a bunch of different variations. This outside coil starts here and finishes here but as it goes through they wind one coil they wind another coil and then they go back and then they come back and they fin well they tap to the switch and then come back and finish the coil finish the coil and then come back again to the switch and then comes back and finishes all the way through in other words this isn't one solid winding uh, actually it is except it's uh, when they get done winding they bring the wires back tap them run a wire out and then they run the wire right back so if you start at the beginning and come to the end, you've got all these wires in series, so it really doesn't matter. you just got two wires that tap off of here and tap off of here that you don't use. It's still a full connection from the beginning to the end if you just omit the other two wires. And the same thing on the inside coil. That's just a solid coil. And let's see, question number two. Are all the coils moved in operation at the fan? For all, let's see, are all the coils involved in the operating of the fan at all speeds. At the slower speeds, you're only using a few of the coils. And medium speed, you're using a few more of the coils. At full speed, you're using the full set of the outside ring of coils. The inside set of coils does nothing but sit there and put magnetism a little bit ahead of these coils through the induction ring. Seeing as we're not using it that way, we don't have to worry about the induction ring or any of that. We just use both coils as generating coils and overlap them to get a full, even DC output. At what speeds do you operate the alternator? Any speed you want to put that dog on, boy. And for uh, question number four, what do you do with all the wires going to the speed control box? Basically, I cut all that out to where I've got four wires total. I should have two wires coming off the outside coils and two wires coming off the inside coils. When I put those to, uh, when I put those to the diode bridges, and uh, I can either wire them in series or parallel on the outside. I can show you that somewhere else, or it's actually on some of my videos. I'll figure that out. But basically, just the outputs, I put them out into DC. Or I could just tap either one of them in AC and I could have two AC outputs if I want. One AC output off this set of coils and one AC output off the inner set of coils. Thank you Phil and I'll get back at you with a little more.